and welcome to Question Time. Hello, and here's the news. <laughs> it's not the news, it's only me. And a good Monday afternoon to you all, and welcome to David's lunchtime vlog. Now, today is entitled Ask David. And the reason it's called Ask David is because this is a Q and A. You provide the Qs and I provide the As. And that's question and answers for those of you who don't know what that means. Now, you've been busy in your hordes writing in and asking me all sorts of questions. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Now, my first question here is from Lindsay. <laughs> Hello, Lindsay. And she says, Dear David, please can you help me figure out how I'm going to juggle working from home and homeschooling my children? Thanks from a concerned parent. Well, juggling, Lindsay, can be tricky. Now, I would suggest you either subcontract your children or you sell them to passing gypsies. <laughs> or just you just chuck it all in and run away with the circus because, I mean, I really don't know what you can do. Just try your best. That's all people can ask is for you to try your best. And if you, if you fail, well, you're just a bad parent. But don't, don't take it too much to heart. Blame the coronavirus. It's nothing to do with your parenting skills. Tell yourself that. It's up to you whether you believe it or not. Right, the second question. Oh, this is from Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Oh, Lauren's asking me two questions. Well, she's taking the limelight, isn't she? Now, first question. <laughs> Wait for this one. Does throttling a loved one count during this time? Will the police be interested? Am I likely to be arrested? Now, Lindsay. It's not Lindsay, it's Lauren. I'm not starting this again. I'm just continuing. I'll just add it to my outtakes. Lauren, you have got two choices here. You can perhaps enrol in an online anger management course. I think you've got a few issues here. Or, alternatively, you could perhaps pretend that you've got a co-worker and you can blame the co-worker for doing all the things that's annoying you <laughs> and just blame that person. But if you live on your own and you try that, well, your neighbours are just going to think you're absolutely a loony. So... I don't know the solution to that. You'll just need to put up with each other the best you can. Right, what's my next question? Oh, it's from Lauren again. <laughs> Good grief. She says, how do I wean myself off takeaways and save some money? Each time I get one, I promise myself it will be the last time and then the takeaways remain open. <laughs> Isn't that a problem, Lauren? <laughs> I suggest you take a good hard look at yourself and have a good hard think. Yes, that's what I say. Now, just give yourself a shake. Right. Oh, here's Ross. Oh, Ross has got two questions as well. This must be National Two Questions Day. <laughs> now, Ross says, Dear David, what's better for lunch? Yippon chips or a tuna melt toasty? Well, Ross, Yippon is closed and you don't like fish, so stop being a silly wee boy. Right, next question. Oh, Ross, how do, how do ye, ye, I mean, honest to goodness, he can't even spoke properly. How do you, 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 Ross, how do you get a good night's sleep amidst all these shenanigans? Well, Ross, I would suggest some cocoa, some sleeping tablets, and panorama. Now, next question is from Kelsey. Hello, Kelsey, from Cumbernauld. <laughs> I don't even know where Cumbernauld is. Now, Kelsey's asking, what came first? 
the chicken or the egg? If you're not going to take this seriously, Kelsey, I'm not even going to waste my time with you. Right, on to the next one. And this is from Elizabeth. Ooh. Elizabeth is asking, working at home is very quiet. There is no office drama. Elizabeth, that's not really a question. It's just more of a general statement. Now, an issue perhaps could be if you've got a pet and it falls across your keyboard and, and pee-pees itself. Now, that would be a home drama. And if you don't have a pet and you have the same situation, then you've wet yourself. And I would maybe get that scene too. Now, the next one is from Christine. Hello, Christine. And Christine says, what's the square root of nine? I'm not a Sheldon Cooper, Christine. Now, what else is she saying? Oh, here we go. Is it acceptable that my cats have a square go? A squ I don't even know what a square go is. I've now got visions of this Christine sitting at home in a shell suit. I'll start that one again. Is it acceptable that my cats have a square go every time my team has a Zoom call? If not, is it acceptable for my cats to be rehomed via an advert in the Weekly Digest? I don't care. Next question is, <laughs> oh, I like this one very much. <laughs> Can we have a mass game of Zoom bingo on Friday? <laughs> No. Then we've got from Mary, and she says, what should we wear when working from home? You can wear a caftan and a yellow helmet for all I care, Mary. Just wear what you want, really. Who cares? Look at me. I've decided to wear this little woolly hat and my little scarf because I was reading the news today and I thought I would make a special effort. Now, what else have we got here? Yes, Mary, I've, I was thinking about this and I thought, well, some general, some general clothing advice. If you're female, then I would suggest it's an achievement if you've got your bra on by 11 a.m. If you're male, then it's really just an achievement to be up by 11 a.m. And if you're up and out your pyjamas by 12 noon, then I would say that you're probably management material. Oh yes, you should be, you should be like a vice dean or something because they're, they'll be up and fully dressed sitting in their power suits. Now, oh, here's Colin. Colin's jumping a wee bit ahead of himself. Colin says, do you think I will be back at work by Christmas? Calm down, Colin. You've got to calm down because you could be dead by Easter. Don't worry about Christmas at the moment. Just try and get over the first hurdle. Okay. And then, oh, last question. You'll be pleased to know this has gone on quite a while today. But I've got lots of questions and I'm trying to get through them all, you know. I don't want to leave any of you out. Now, I think this one is from one of my Greek colleagues. <laughs> and she's given me her full name. It's Anne. Onimus. And Anne Onimus says, Whoa, wait, oh, this is, this is a belter, a pure belter. What can I do if my line manager contacts me too often on Skype or Zoom? Well, I have written down some handy tips because this is a problem that most of us will have. What we could do is we could just hang up we could say, oh, we've got a connection problem. I, oh, he, oh, uh, oh. We could heavy breathe when there's hang up. Or what we could do is we could keep telling them that there's a delay in the time. And every time they start speaking, we just speak right over them. Oh, they would hate that, hate it. Or my absolute favourite, you say, sorry, I didn't catch that. And then they start to repeat it. And then you say, sorry, <laughs> I didn't catch that. And you repeat that about half a dozen times and their blood pressure will go through the roof. <laughs> anyway, 
that's all the time that we've got. I went on and on and on like a banshee today. So I'll need to have a wee lie down. So that's that's David's David's questions and answers for today. I hope all of these answers have helped my colleagues. Now remember, colleagues watching me, if you have a question that you would like me to answer, get on the email and email me your question and I will answer it next Monday during David's Q&A session. And so I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it very helpful. I've, I've certainly found it most satisfying to help my colleagues in this hour of need. Well, it's not so much an hour as quite a long time. Now, hold on a second because I need to have my closing credits <laughs> ready to roll. Are we ready? Okay, well, thank you and I will see you tomorrow lunchtime for another one of David's lunchtime vlogs. Bye-bye.